So happy you're with us on Mile High Living. I'm Tanya Rush in for Gina Belich. All I have to say is pack your bags. We are taking you on a journey aboard an authentic Colorado rail experience. Climb the Southern Rockies steep grades by train, see sweeping rugged mountain vistas and a variety of wildlife, while all while enjoying tales of Colorado's railroad and mining history. And here to take us on this unforgettable trip, and I want his job and your chance to win four train and concert <laughs> tickets, we have Ed Ellis, president of Rio Grande Scenic Railroad. You get to see everything. Absolutely. Uh, I, but I know it keeps you busy. So first, um, kind of give us the history behind the Rio Grande Rail Railroad. So the it's the oldest excursion railroad in Colorado. It was built in 1878. And we've been running excursions there since 2005. And we have a variety of trips that you can take. And throughout the season, there's different types of excursions. Um, kind of right. give us an overview of that. Sure. So we have a train that goes from Alamosa to Levita. You're on the edge of a cliff for about 10 miles coming into Levita. We have uh, Wine Train Colorado featuring exclusively Colorado wines, a 6 p.m. departure on Friday and Saturday nights for a two-hour trip. And we have uh, concert trains that take you to the top of Levita Pass. So with that being said, today we are specifically focusing on on Mountain Rail's live concert series. Right. Um, kind of the story behind this, and you it's in all the Colorado mountains with, with the stops? So we're at 9,422 feet at the top of Levita Pass. Uh, it's beautiful outdoor concert venue. You can see 14ers from there. Uh, it's kind of like uh, a big block party, uh, only instead of the 12-year-old band from the garage, you've got people like Michael Martin Murphy and the yeah. Gritty Dirt Band. And that's what we're going to say is that the experience and Michael Murphy, Michael Martin Murphy, he's played at the venue every season, every year. so he must be a true hit. He's Well, he's been there almost as much as I have. Oh, <laughs> just a few years. Right. right. Um, and what makes that so sp special, and it's happening again this season, isn't it? It is. He's, you know, he's western music and he's an outdoor guy and we love having michael but we love all of our acts we had writers in the sky last weekend great western band uh, we have peter yarrow coming up we've got just a, a, a whole season of terrific concerts now this is something people may be thinking about how was the fur colorado concert venue was was it affected by that spring creek fire and how how has that changed? So, you know, and 150 people lost their houses. Mm -hmm. There were 100,000 acres burned. We had about $2 million in damage to the railroad. We lost a bridge. We lost a couple miles of track, and we lost the stage. But we're back. And we have a brand new sound system. The The sound system is far better than what we had before. Mm -hmm. I just wish the insurance company would uh, step up. Oh, to the no, plan. no, no. That, that's a different topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to take care of things. I mean, Absolutely. it's part of the business. Absolutely, and we're back in business. Now, okay, let's go back. Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Right. We've had Judy Collins, yes. Peter Yarrow from yes. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Right. So what a... I can't even imagine the memories you have. So what are some of your highlights? Well, Peter Yarrow was here two years ago, and... He sings Puff the Magic Dragon, which of he wrote. Of course. And he invited a bunch of people up on stage to sing it with him. And he walked around and held the microphone up. And it's great to hear somebody my age saying Little Jackie Paper. And uh -huh. just, it just great. But actually, my favorite memory, Susie Boggess, um, terrific country singer. My daughter, Emily, was the supervisor for the first time she came. And she was, Emily was in the jam session with us on the train. And Susie started asking her questions. And suddenly Susie's son came into the picture. And my wife said, wait a minute. If we're going to have a matchmaking thing, I need to be involved in this too. Oh, no. Yes. So that's one of the, look, you need to still light up about that. So that's absolutely. definitely one that has stuck out in your mind. Oh, absolutely. No, we just have fun with everybody. Now, you have a club car named the Mardi Gras that has music history of its of its own. So is this, right. I mean, we see the whole train, but then you specifically pick one for this? So everybody, uh, everybody rides the train to the concert. You can't get there on the road. So the artists ride as well, and they ride in the Mardi Gras. The Mardi Gras is 102 years old. It is the club car that Steve Goodman was riding in. Steve Goodman is the guy who wrote the song City of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. This is the actual club car that from the City of the New one. Orleans. And Steve Goodman was riding in there when he wrote about, you know, pass the paper bag that holds the bottle and dealing cards, penny a point. So if you buy a diamond class ticket, you're in the club car, okay. and we have a jam session on the way back. So you can sit there with me and Michael Martin Murphy and sing um, just 
about any song that comes to your head, you just raise your hand and say, hey, I'd like to sing This Land is Your Land, and Michael will just jump right into it, or whoever, mm -hmm. whoever is on the train. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the interesting things about the acts is the first time they're there, they, they're sort of looking at this and going, really, I'm going to get on a train and I'm going to ride to the top of a mm -hmm. mountain? What is this about? It's hard to explain the social aspects well, of it this. It sounds very intimate. And It is. That's the house concert atmosphere right there. I mean, my wife and I met at the Old Town School of Folk Music. We had concerts at our house with small acts. Mm -hmm. And this is like being in your living room with Michael Martin Murphy live mm -hmm. or being in your living room with Riders in the Sky or Peter Yarrow right there singing along with you. Sounds awesome. All I have to say is all aboard. Wait, all aboard. Yeah, all Did aboard. I do that right? The Rio Grande Scenic Railroad for the Mountain Rails live concert series starting this weekend and chugging along till August 25th. Departure, Alamosa, Colorado. Dance and sing along to some of your favorite music. Purchase tickets online, coloradotrain.com or call 877-726-7245. And Ed, is kind enough to offer one viewer four train and concert tickets. Be a caller 303-832-0140 and you win. Rio Grande Scenic Railroad sponsored the tickets and paid for today's segment. Don't go away.